Hello everyone, welcome to DeFi Meta. I'm Sai Lakshmi, a Salesforce consultant at DeFi Meta Technologies. In today's video, I will walk you through how to deploy an Agent Force agent on external website by using messaging for in app and web. This setup helps you to improve customer support. It also creates a smooth real time experience for your users. By the end, you will be ready to launch your agent right where your customers need it on your website. Let's get started. In this demo, I am deploying an Agent Force agent that is already set up in Salesforce. I will add it to a public website built with some basic HTML. The site is hosted on GitHub pages. This shows how business can bring smart AI powered support to their websites. It gives users instant help right when and where they need it. Here is what you learn in this guide. I will start with basic messaging for in-app and web, then move on to key setup steps like configuring, routing, and the omni-channel flow. You'll also learn how to connect the chart to your website using a messaging channel and embedded service. We will go over some branding options, touch the setup, and look at a few considerations and limitations. Let's see a quick overview of messaging for in-app and web. It is a Salesforce modern framework. It brings smart agents like Agent Force to your website and apps. It supports real-time conversations that continue even after users leave, so they can come back and pick up where they left off. You also get features like omnichannel handoffs, rechart forms, and custom branding. It is flexible, powerful, and built for gate support experiences. And the best part about it is you can add it to any public website with a simple script. Before launching your agent on any external website, here are a few essential configurations you need in your Salesforce org. Messaging queue. This is where incoming chart requests are initially placed. It helps to organize and manage workload distribution across your support agents. Next, routing configuration. It determines how charts move from the queue to agents. Omnichannel flow. This flow automates the routing process, handling conditions, and logic for agent assignment. Messaging channel. This channel setups the actual communication path between your website and Salesforce. Once all these configurations are set up, you are ready to begin the external deployment. Let's jump into the org. Let's start by creating a queue. Go to setup and search for queues in the quick find box. Click on queues. Click on new. Give your queue a name. Here I'm going to that messaging queue. Keep it default like this. Here in the available objects, select the messaging session object and add it to the selected objects. This object enables the queue to process the chart sessions and assign the user. Click on save. Next, search for routing configuration in your quick find box. Click on routing configurations. Click on new. Here I'm giving web routing configuration as available. Keep it user as default, default, routing priority as one, routing model, most available, capacity is in helper. Here units of capacity means. Uh, you can keep this capacity as one or two depending on how many charts you want the agents to handle at a time. Here I'm giving two. Click on save. Go to queues. Open your messaging queue. Click on edit. Here you can select the routing configuration. Here is our web routing configuration. Click on this. Click on save. Next is how to create your omni channel flow. I have already set up the omni channel flow. Let's take a quick look how it is set up and what it does. Search for close. This is my flow I have already set up. This flow controls how incoming message requests like from our agent force agent 
or automatically routed to the right support agent. It begins with a get records element that looks for the messaging session record. This session represents the live chat that just started from our agent force agent. From there, the flow connects directly to the route work element, which passes the request into Salesforce omni-channel routing engine. Here we can select the we can select our agent routing configuration and also the queue. This ensures users are quickly connected to the right agent based on availability, capacity, and any rules we have set. Once this flow is active, it works in the background to automate intelligent real-time agent handoffs whenever a new chart starts. The next step is to create the messaging channel. In the quick find box, search for messaging settings. Click on messaging settings. Here we need to enable this messaging tab, messaging enable. Click on new channel. Click on start. Here we need to select the messaging for in-app and web. Name the channel. Click on save. Here you need to select the uh, routing channel. Here I'm selecting OmniFlow, which we have already set up this flow. Select that flow from here. Route to agent. And also whatever the queue that we have set up for configuration, select that queue as well. Keep the default things as it is and click on save. Make sure that the omnichannel flow is connected here. So routing happens correctly. You have established now you have established the connection between your website and Salesforce. Service deployment. This is what allows us to add the agent to an external website. It, in, it is a lightweight setup that includes everything needed for web chat, like branding, messaging channel connection, and the code snippet to embed the agent. Let's set up this embedded service deployment. Go to setup, search for embedded service deployment in the quick find box. Click on new deployment. Select messaging for in app and web. Click on next. Select web. Name the deployment name. Add the URL of your domain where you want to launch your agent on the external side. It should follow a setting like example.com. Like here, we don't need to include this HTTPS. So remove this one. Add your messaging channel. Uh, previously, you have set up that configuration. Add that channel here. Click on Save. It will take a few minutes to create that deployment. Once it is created, click on edit. Make your messaging channel active. Go to messaging settings. Open your web channel. Make the channel active. Go to embedded service deployments. Open your deployment. Here you can see this code snippet. Install, click on this install code snippet. It will automatically give, give the script to add this script at the at your HTML page where you want to launch your agent on your website. This code snippet includes everything needed to render the chart widget in your website like your deployment ID, messaging channel link, and branding setup.
It loads the Salesforce messaging framework and connects your website to your own in real time. Copy this code, paste that code snippet here in the HTML page where you want to launch your agent. This is my basic HTML page which I created and I added this page, I hosted this page on GitHub by using GitHub pages. Here I, I added that script. Before this closing body tag, we need to add that script. Click on save. Once you set up the Emirates service deployment, before publishing this deployment into your website, let us make sure the secure communication between your external website and Salesforce. Further, you need to authorize your domain in three places. First, add your domain under cost settings. This will allow the browser to make cross-origin requests to Salesforce APIs. Search for course in the quick find box. Here I have already added my domain. Click on new and add your domain here. Next. Add the same domain under trusted URLs. Search for trusted URLs. In the quick find box, click on this. This authorizes the domain for use with embedded servicing and messaging. New trusted URL. API name. And add your URL here. Click on save. Next, when using embedded service or messaging, the chart UI is served through an experience cloud site and loaded in iframe. By default, Salesforce blocks iframe loading from untrusted domains for security reasons. To allow it, add your website's domain to the trusted domains for inline frames in session settings. Search for sites in the quick find box. Click on the sites. Here we need to check this checkbox, allow users to find it, external profiles, and select your deployment name. Here this is my deployment name. This is the experience cloud site that we that, it, that comes while creating our embedded service deployment. We need to add our domain under here, under trusted domains for inline frames. Add your domain here. Click on save. Once you added the domains under uh, under the cost trusted URLs and inline frames, go for embedded service deployment. Select your channel deployment name. Here we can also uh, brand the agent, brand the messaging channel which I where we want to see in our external website. It we can also personalize personalize the look and feel of the chat window to match our brand to match the website's brand or whether it is customer portal or product, anything. Salesforce provides built-in options for styling your messaging for in-app under. Let's see what the features it, it has shown. You can set the primary color of that feature. You can also select the font and size of the text. You can also add the agent avatar here and the logo that you want to the that you want to cover and also the chart button height and width of the chart feature based on your requirement you can brand the messaging for in-app and web chart window by configuring all these click on save and publish your deployment it will take 10 minutes to process after that you will be able to see your agent on your website this is my external website, which I built with some basic HTML and hosted on GitHub pages. As you can see, the chart icon appears here in the corner. This is the live agent for staging, which is ready to assist users in real time. From here, users can chart and receive real time support. This is a fully connected intelligent agent powered by Salesforce and it's running securely on a public facing site. You can test your agent here.
before we wrap up let's go over some key points about messaging for in app and web first chat sessions are tab specific if your user reloads or switches tabs things like read receipts may be lost browser and device behavior can impact the chat on ios strict privacy settings may break the session file attachments are supported but only certain file types can be previewed and each file must be under 5mb now let's see a few limitations to remember sneak peek is not available agent won't see what users are typing until they hit send chain sets are not supported you have to set up messaging manually custom css is also not supported if you use styling changes touch them carefully keep this in mind for a smooth and reliable setup here are some helpful resources for further reading thank you for watching i hope this video helped you to understand how to deploy an agent force agent from setup to deployment you are now ready to extend your intelligent support to the external website don't forget to share like and subscribe to our channel for more salesforce content